But then you want to buy them? Chris and I would look at pictures. <laughs> I do too. Should we just do it's that? So bad, it's good. Yeah, should we just do that one? I think so. Welcome to Chris and Ahmed Look at Pictures. Mm, another good title, last. Another good title. We are creative. Pictures from the NFL preseason. Yep. We're just going to look at them. There's some of the, you know, interesting, telling stories pictures. They're just a variety of pictures. You're seeing them for the first time. Yeah. You going to comment first or you want me to comment first? Organic, whichever Organic. happens. Cool. Okay. Larry Fitzgerald and Antonio Brown just. Yucking it up. <laughs> Can you believe how I got out of Pittsburgh? And they gave me $30 million guaranteed here. That had to be a helmet joke. Uh, like, dude, you got one of those air shuts? Something like it. <laughs> You're right, right. I don't. He's uh, like, I don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's a fan in Pittsburgh. He's already altered the jersey. Brown is a clown, and that jersey is clownish to begin with. Yeah. Just you like those jerseys when they wear them? Not really. Yeah. I think at that point, you just need to move on. It's like scary, but, uh, but breast cancer awareness. Too. It's like a combination. I was gonna <laughs> say, I mean, it's really, it's hard to pull off scary and pink at the same time, but he did do it. <laughs> I give credit to any fan who does this in the preseason, though. You know, I mean, like, that's dedication. Normally, you save it for the regular season, but this that is, is a fan. you're right, another level. That's kind of like, that's actually too much of a level. There is Bill Belichick, and that is the picture of a man who it is actually painful for him to smile. Whether it's painful or not, I'm just happy to see him smile. <laughs> you, you enjoy it, it. you're it's like, just, good. It's good, I mean, gosh, it just doesn't happen all the time. I mean, he used to be so charismatic with interviews early in his career, and now it just, I have rings, screw you. Yeah. I don't have to answer. And he does that voice. On to Cincinnati. Uh, we're on to Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. We're getting ready for Cincinnati. We're getting ready for Cincinnati. Thing. Cam Newton with the Ooh. he does the fashion thing all the time. He does. I like those cleats. And, mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of a lot of matching things there. Very stylish, out of uniform, in uniform look. Is that a hat too with a hole? In I the guess top he cuts a hair? hole. Yeah, he's going with the long hair crazy look this year. Yeah, kind of looks like he's doing like one of those. Um, you know, break dance, like throw your, <laughs> get on one hand and throw your legs up in the air. We should go side by side with like a break dancer right there and just see exactly how close it is. Yep. <laughs> uh, David Fails, that is a, what he's like the... stepping on his head. What, it, he really is. It almost looks like he's about to go like, ha, first down. <laughs> he's celebrating he a first down. <laughs> he did. Okay, uh, here's Matt Patricia. Matty P. Like, look, like that look on his face, I feel like it's permanent. It is. That's a permanent look. It is. It's like, it's niceness. It's all niceness yeah. over there. I, I really like Matty P. This is a hilarious picture. He's like, oh, I got all the answers from Belichick, but he didn't know how to guard the Gatorade bottles <laughs> like me. And I'm a little worried as a Lions fan, so I did want to put in one picture of the Lions being happy because I, I don't know how many times they're going to see it. It's, it hasn't, well, let's, let's pump the brakes. We don't know, but it hasn't looked good. You're right. But great. Max Stafford hasn't even played yet. No. We don't know. You got a lot of people out of the lineup. Who knows? You can't trust anybody from New England in the preseason because they true. will truly go like, no, we're going to play cover two every snap of every game, and that's yeah. what we're going to do. So you never know. You're right. That's true. But if it goes wrong, at least we have this picture. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. Daniel Jones, Eli Manning, mm. hanging out on the sidelines. Uh, it's like, it's like, man, it's like younger and older. They have so many similarities they in like do. their facial expressions. This is like, like before you get hit for 16 years, <laughs> after you get hit yeah. for 16 years. You shrink. You do. And they look the same in the helmet. They look the same mechanically a lot of times. They do. Daniel Jones has a long neck like them, like the Manning family. <laughs> Very similar. Although, prop forehead might not be as big. No, you're right. It is a full head of hair there. It's yeah. more like a two or three head. Ryan Fitzpatrick. <laughs> look at the chin guard. <laughs> Just wanted to see how my chin sweat tasted yeah. this year in the middle of the play. That shouldn't happen, right? No, but that's what happens when you have a beer like Grizzly Adams. Yeah. Grizzly Adams had a beard, right? Yeah, I think it's from a movie, but he was again, very he, grizzly. I keep forgetting you're not gonna help me with that. I just it. assume that he did. Josh Harvey Clemens Josh. loses his helmet. Yeah, Josh Harvey Clemens. See, he's tough and all of that, but even he yeah. is squinting his eyes like, ah, oh, don't hurt my head. Not gonna be good. If I lose my helmet, I'm taking my Yeah, I don't think I even ever feel like I ever even came close to losing my helmet. I, I don't remember it in any sense. Oh no. This ain't Oklahoma. We're not as better than everybody. What? I can't outrun everybody on the field? 
I'm gonna play baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Baker Mayfield and Andrew Luck. Like that's. Uh, like Baker, seems... Baker looks like he's stoned. Like, yeah, yeah bro, I just played the game. And Andrew's like, are you okay? Are you okay? Like, are you? You have your beard got longer than mine. How you dare you? Seem not good. Go ahead, comment on it. The arm is just like parallel mm -hmm. to the ground. It's insane. He's like Gumby, and that's big reason why he can throw the ball eighty something yards. It's like a catapult. Holy crap! I like how his teammates trying to like hold him up. Yeah, he's like, hey, I got your butt, don't worry. <laughs> you don't want that to hit yeah. too hard. Your butt's fine. I know, because you know, you ever hit your tailbone? Look, he's really trying to protect his tailbone. He's like, man, <laughs> you hit your tailbone, it's gonna really hurt, dude. You know, Jason Garrett's always in the hustle, right? right? Yes. And so I think this was a smart move for him, is that if he is looking for a job next year, now he has got a picture of him being friends with, with Sean McVay. Oh, and yeah, I know Sean McVay, you get a new job. You, I, I know him, look, at I not only know him, but I embraced him. Mike Vrabel, oh. well, I kind of think with him, the transformation into like Mike Ditka is well on its way. Oh, you might be. There's a little something there. Isn't there a little Ditka? There is, especially with this mustache look he's pulling off lately. Yeah. Uh, Nick Boyle, yeah. stopped by Adrian Amos. No mas from Amos. It's, at that point, Nick Boyle's like, yeah. this was a bad idea. Well, yeah, I mean, he didn't get it. I don't even know. He just jumped. He was like, I want to jump <laughs> no matter what. Like, Amos was never low or, like, showed any body posture that he was going to dive at his legs. But he just was like, I'm going up. And Speaking of body slams. Final one. <laughs> Is that what he's <laughs> doing? <laughs> I hate kids. <laughs> That's my ex-teammate. I'll take your, Wesley Woodyard? Yeah. Oh, cool. My buddy. That's his son, Grayson. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, Wesley's a great dude, and also involved with one of the greatest locker room fights I was ever, uh, got the witness in my career. He was involved in the fight? He was involved. He was a locker room prankster, okay? He was awesome in the locker room. Like, yeah. you talk about guys like, oh, I want him in that locker room. He's got positive vibes and, you know, love football, all of those things. He liked to, like, you get out of the shower, and he'd throw soap on you, so you'd have to get back in. So, you know, you dry off, and you're walking to the locker, and you're just about to put, like, your pants on. And, now, and he'd come out and throw soap on you, and you uh, have to go get back in. Well, he did it to Jabbar Gaffney one too many times. Jabbar Gaffney went and got a hot bowl of soup and dumped it on his head. Like and an actual, like, burning two, hot. Two balls, like this. And, and they went down. The punches were thrown. And then the locker room kind of broke it up, but that was that was a good one. That was an exciting day. Who won, who, won, practice. who won the fight? I mean, Jab got in an early punch. Wesley got a few win, like body wise, and then yeah. it went to the wrestling. And Wesley would have beat him in the wrestling aspect of it. Right. But Jab, for a receiver who was only like 190 pounds. He was no joke. He wasn't afraid of anybody. He'd fight anybody. And their question is, did Wesley then dump soap on people after that? Was he done with that? I it? think he was done. <laughs> <laughs> he learned his lesson. That was the end of it. Yeah, we're good with yeah, it. We're Not good. quite as funny anymore. Right. Uh, so that's it. That's the weekend picture. I like NFL. that. Good week of that pictures. That's good. Very well done by you. And the good thing is that next week, there'll be more pictures. And then next week, since this is football pictures, yeah. we are going to wear a non-baseball jacket and shirt for football pictures. I'm working on this guy. There's only so much I can do. We'll see. All right, we'll see. Yeah. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.